There is so much conflicting nutrition information out there. Um, even the professionals and experts still disagree in many areas. One of those is definitely butter versus margarine. And in this video, I'm gonna look at which one is better. Quick disclaimer, some people are definitely gonna get upset. Butter and margarine serve the same purpose. They're used for cooking, baking, and as spreads. We've been eating butter now for centuries. It's made by churning the fatty portion of cow's milk until it turns into the final product, which is butter. Um, that's it. Um, it's, and it's recently become popular for those following a low carb, high fat eating pattern. Now margarine is totally different. Margarine was invented to replace butter in the late 19th century. Um, the primary ingredient is vegetable oil along with emulsifiers, um, colorants, and various artificial ingredients. Now for many decades, butter was considered unhealthy because it's high in saturated fat, and that was considered a major driver of heart disease. But that's not the case. For example, two massive review studies, um, one from 2011 with over 340,000 participants, and the other from 2014 with uh, over 600,000 participants, um, they found no link between saturated fat consumption and heart disease risk. The latest systematic review and meta-analysis looked at data from over 600,000 unique participants uh, with 6.5 million person years of follow-up um, and included lots of data on um, deaths and incidents of, of heart disease and diabetes. Now the authors concluded in this paper that there was relatively small or neutral overall association of butter with death, cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Um, they want to say that these findings do not support a need for major emphasis in dietary guidelines on either increasing or decreasing butter consumption in comparison to other better established dietary priorities. Overall, the evidence is clear that saturated fat is not particularly bad for us at all. And the fact that we put so much emphasis on our saturated fat intake in the past was kind of a waste of time. But that doesn't mean it's good either. Saturated fat is just neutral. There's no uh, scientifically valid reason to encourage people to eat a lot of it or to eat more of it. The strange trend of adding butter in your coffee, for example. Best not to do that to coffee, please. Okay, so we know where we're at with butter. What about margarine? Classic margarine is made from vegetable oil, which is the biggest source of omega-6 fatty acids in the diet. And many researchers argue we're eating far too much of this compared to omega-3 fatty acids, um, but they're not certain what the consequences of that are, if there are indeed consequences. Now, I should also mention that historically, margarine was loaded with trans fats, which was later discovered to be extremely harmful and strongly associated with heart disease. Pretty much all tub margarine varieties today are trans fat free. Um, the stick varieties may not be though. So there's a few things to think about there, but not really that much cause for concern. However, is margarine actually beneficial for heart health, which is the claim that we've been sold for so many years. The addition of plant sterols to margarine does appear to lower total and LDL cholesterol in the short term, which theoretically should reduce incidence of heart disease, um, which is, you know, that's the hard outcome we actually want to improve. But it remains a theory. In fact, there's zero evidence to support it. Um, the Framingham Heart Study was an observational study that went on for 20 years. Now in this study, margarine shown in the red columns was actually found to drastically increase the risk of heart disease or butter had no effect. Now mind you, this was back when margarine still contained trans fat. The Sydney Diet Heart Study was a clinical trial of 458 men that had recently had a cardiac event. Um, the group increasing their vegetable oil and margarine consumption was 62% more likely to die and 70% more likely to die of heart disease. Now, although this too was back when there was more trans fat in the margarine, so one can argue the usefulness of this data today. But certainly, um, we're not seeing benefits of increased vegetable oil and margarine intake. However, this is the study that really stands out. Now, in this Cochrane review from 2015, which found a total of only four relevant high-quality randomized controlled trials that included 660 participants in total, the authors concluded that uh, we found no studies examining the effects of either increased or decreased omega-6 uh, vegetable oils and margarine uh, on our primary outcome cardiovascular disease clinical endpoints. Um, they didn't even find sufficient evidence that an increase or decrease in omega-6s um, influenced blood lipids and blood pressure. To summarize all that, the heart health claims of margarine haven't been tested and they certainly haven't been proven. More margarine in your diet probably has no benefits whatsoever, and it was downright harmful in the 60s and the 70s. To be honest with you, I used to think that margarine was healthy and, and butter wasn't, but now I know that 
margarine isn't really that good for you. It's, it's pretty neutral. And likewise, butter isn't really unhealthy. It's kind of neutral as well. The punchline is that neither of them add to your health in any way. So don't eat them that often. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, uh, make sure you subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the big red button below the video. And that way you'll catch all our new videos like this one as they are released. Thank you.